and you watching this video, rehab is across the world. I got one simple question for you. Are you going to sink or are you going to swim? What's it going to be? You got a choice to make. I'll be real with you. This world ain't getting no easier, man. Loyalty still going to be rare. Setbacks are still going to happen. Sometimes people going to walk out your life. The impossible still going to show its face. Your trust might get abused. Your heart might get broke. Your plans might hit a brick wall. But guess what? None of that matters. Because what matters is the choice that you're going to make. Either you're going to sink or you're going to swim. Hi, you're watching Run It With Robin, and I'm here with former NFL player turned motivational speaker. You're like the Tony Robbins of social media right now. <laughs> Trent Sheldon, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Robin. Thanks for having me on your show. It's, it's amazing how you turn from, like, football player to this motivational speaker. I mean, from what I heard, football was like your god, mm -hmm. basically. I mean, how did, how did you go from that to where you are right now? Um, you know, it's kind of me uh, losing a lot of things. Uh, the birth of my son was definitely something uh, that was a gain. And then uh, me losing my college roommate to suicide. And it uh, kind of just made me uh, look within myself because playing football, my career wasn't that good. I mean, I was going back and forth getting cut, a.k.a. fired. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I started to lose faith and I started to get depressed and I really didn't care about life. And I never wanted to be a speaker, you know, a motivational guy. I don't even consider myself like, like that. I'm just somebody who, who shares his heart. And I just came to a point where I said, you know what? I had to fix my life, and I just started saying the word rehab time. So rehab time has started for myself, and from there, it just took off. So what made you want to document, like, two-minute videos to the, to the public so the whole world can hear what you're going through or how you're feeling? That was just my, my way of releasing uh, what I felt inside. You know, some people record songs or sing songs or go work out. Um, that was kind of my way of um, releasing what I felt inside, especially at the beginning, and to see people respond to it and realize that people are going through uh, the same struggles or going through a struggle period uh, really healed me. Well, when Rehab Time first started, I was still playing. And rehab for me is renewing every heart and body. And if you take... Uh, rehab from a not even a sports aspect but somebody's been hurt mm -hmm. it's you're putting the strength back into a weakness and so with me I took that same mindset when I've been hurt in football and understand the rehab process it's long sometimes you come back and you get hurt again sometimes you don't come back quick enough it's frustrating but if you stay the course usually you'll come back stronger than you were before you got hurt on an average every day it's about 35 million people that watch your videos I mean that's crazy that is crazy you have like over 2 million Facebook fans. I'm happy if I get 200 likes on my Facebook picture or something. I mean, how did this, how did this turn so big? Honestly, the best way I can explain it is God. Um, I mean, because it's, it's nothing that I can say I did besides share my heart and be consistent. So, um, I'm just going to read some quotes that you've recently written, okay? <laughs> and you tell me what inspired you or what caused you to write this. Okay. So the first one is, you can't expect to get the relationship you need from someone who's not ready to give it to you. True love isn't forced. Uh, that's inspired by messages I get every single day. Mm -hmm. You know, people are always asking the question, does this person love me? And you get a lot of relation, yeah, relationship yeah. questions, don't you? Even, yeah, and friendship questions too. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, that inspired that, because I want to tell people, you can't create somebody's change. Change is an inside job. And I've been that person on the other side of the fence where, I was the one doing wrong and things like that, and I didn't want to change. And it took somebody walking out of my life to change me. Okay, so. so the next one is, sometimes it takes learning how to be perfectly lonely just so God can show you what being perfectly loved feels like. Yeah. Speak on that. Well, that's about hitting rock bottom. Um, that was personal with me. Uh, when I hit my rock bottom, you know, I always say keep moving forward, but I just made a video uh, called Be Still because sometimes it's just about being still and letting God work on your life and let him direct your path. And for me. But Trent, how do you do that? I, I live yeah. in New York City. It is hard to be still. I'm really, I'm it, serious. It's hard. It takes commitment. You have to realize and when things are getting stripped from your life, when you hit a rock bottom, when things are leaving your life, to me, it's just God letting you know that you need to build your relationship with him. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard. Trust me, it's very hard. Um, but how did you do it? How do I do it? How did I do how it? Well, I had nobody else, and it's like that was God was the only thing that I had. And I mean, my parents, my dad's a pastor, so I was always raised that way. But I, never, I knew your dad was a pastor. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And I never really had that relationship though. Like it was kind of given to me, and I never know, knew why I believed or or things like that. And so, um, I had no choice but to lean on him. Mm -hmm. 
And when God is your only option, like sometimes that's the best option you can have. Truth is that some people can stay in your heart, but not in your life. Sometimes you just got to learn to love someone from a distance. Is this something personal or because it's a little deep? Explain yourself. It's a little personal. Um, I think it's personal for everybody. You know, sometimes you, you really, it's like, I always say this. It's sad when you, when you can't trust the people that you know you want to trust, you know, that you wish you could. And I guess that's a better way of putting it. And so with that, of course, people are going to stay in your heart, whether it's family, whether it's old friends. Like, you care for that person, but they just can't get right. And you can't have your life around that because it will tear down your life, too. Do your former friends, are they like, oh, man, I know he's talking about me? Or, like, how does, I mean, because you're airing out personal right. stuff. You know, someone in your in your past circle must right. be like, mm -hmm, I know what he's talking about. Uh, you know, they might feel like that way, but I always say if the shoe fits, wear it. Is. Wear it. How important is it to have those those people in your camp, you know, those people that speak life? Big time. I mean, I had that, and that's another thing. Like, I kept getting calls in my life, as they say, you know, in the church world. But I had people speaking to my life multiple times. Um, one, one time was a guy, I was in Tulsa, still playing arena football. I went to this church for the first time, make a long story short, sit in the, sit in the back of the church, the last row. And uh, he's like, hey, you two come down here. And I'm like looking back, you know how it is when people call you down. Yeah. And so I, I walk down there and he, and he looks at me and says, I see you speaking in front of crowds across the world. And at that point, I was like, no, not me. I was like, you see me catching touchdowns. <laughs> I'm Trent Shelton and you're watching Running With Robin. It's rehab time, let's get it.